Thank you, thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. I am Mauricio Flores. I'm a Mexican digital artist, and I'm also the director of the Russell of Lips. Uh, I'm here to tell you about our project, which, as you may know, it is the production of a teaser for an animated feature. Uh, but aside from that, it is also an educational model, because it happens that I'm also a teacher. So uh, this uh, talk is going to be a combination of both art and education which I believe is actually a pretty, pretty powerful one, of course. So um, uh, let me start by introducing these wonderful people. They are Carla Vasquez and Andres Busso. They are our school headmasters. Uh, they returned to our country after graduating from Academy of Art in San Francisco, and they founded uh, the Sena Animation School in Mexico City. Um, Initially, it was this small place where you could attend courses on animation, rigging, modeling, whatnot. And it gradually has evolved uh, into a very serious educational institution. Uh, surely, nowadays, it is one of the main choices for us Mexicans to study the art of animation without the necessity of leaving our beautiful country. Um, this is our logo, this is our school's logo. I feel, I feel really proud of this story because I, I've had the privilege of being part of it since the early days of, the, of our school. Um, mainly as an instructor and now for the last three years as the director of the uh, animation studio. We have an in-house animation studio, which is this one, the Sena Animation Studio, uh, where we, of course, produce animation, but aside from it, we also uh, like to educate while producing it. Okay, so there are three core concepts behind our studio. Educate, collaborate, and produce. Uh, we like to call it the Edco Prod model. It's designed to be a spinning wheel where everybody wins. And um, how does this model actually work? Well, we, excuse me, I just went forward on that. Uh, we select, we recruit talented students, we then capacitate them, and then we incorporate them into an, a production environment. Uh, I personally teach them solid art fundamentals, and our friends from CG Cookie are the ones who helped us teaching them Blender, because as you uh, should know, our, our school teaches on, on commercial software, board, but our studio probably runs only on free and open software, okay? So um, after doing some research on the web, I, I went with CG Cookie because they had this beautiful learning flows thing going on, which to me is this uh, really logical, straightforward, structured way of learning Blender. So I would like to take the opportunity to thank everyone involved in this wonderful pro project, CG Cookie, Pavla Caron, Wes Burke, Jonathan Williamson, Ken Tramel, and Tim Van Ruden, and every single person behind this wonderful company. Thank you, CG Cookie. So, Going back to our EcoProd model, the Educate part was covered. Our students already were learning. I felt it, that the time to start collaborating came, finally came, so we started pre-production of the teaser on March 2015. Uh, and, and I gathered together with all my students inside our school's conference room, and I told them to close their eyes. I played some music on the computer, and I started reading for them the story I wrote for the teaser. Once this experience, this experience finished, they opened their eyes, and I told them, I want you to individually paint whatever you saw inside your mind uh, while you were listening to the music, and I was reading to you the story. And um, these were the, the, the results of that experience. We dim the lights off. Thank you.
Thank you. So, you hear me? Yes? Okay. So, at the time we were doing this concept art phase, I was the only professional working at our, at our studio. So, as workload began to increase, it was obvious that I needed some help. Um, we hired a, an amazing story artist whom I knew from my very first job on, anima on the animation industry, uh, the great Victor Hernandez. And I remembered his first day in our studio. I told him, Victor, you know, since we're working uh, on, since we're, since we're working with open and free tools, these terms also apply for our project. So here, here's the story I wrote for the teaser. It is open, so feel free to add your own delicious ingredients into it. And so he did. Uh, we then continued working at full throttle on design and storyboarding. So I'm going to show you what we did with design. Please, the lights. Thank you. followed and with it uh, we had the privilege of hiring a, a formidable artist, he is Javier Avendaño, who was just returning from, from his master's in also the, the Academy of Arts in San Francisco. Um, and just as I opened the project for Victor, I opened the project also for Javier. I told him, you know Javier, here are our original designs, but they are open so feel free again to elaborate on top of them and bring your own fresh new ideas into our work. And so he did too. Uh, the next big step we, we needed to take was to turn our beautiful storyboard into a colorful animatic. 
So Javier, Victor, uh, Cristobal, which is one of the prominent students we recruited, and myself joined forces together to create the following animatic. I'm not going to play all the animatic because I would be spoiling to you the, the end of our teaser, but I, I, I'm sure you, you will enjoy it.
Thank you. So going back to our EdcoProd model, we were collaborating. Students and us professors, teachers, were collaborating on this thing. And uh, once we had our animatic done and it was ready, we decided it was time for us to start the next phase, which was production. But before, I, uh, before we started producing, I decided I needed a producer because I had no longer the intention to be director and producer as, I, as I've been through the whole uh, pre-production process. It's really exhausting. So I uh, wrote to my beloved friend, Mauricio Revuelta, who at the time was working in Japan, and I had to persuade him to come back to Mexico from the land of the rising sun to work with us and, and keep this thing going on. Fortunately, he shared our, in, our enthusiasm for the project, and uh, he came back to Mexico to collaborate with us. Uh, the first thing we did after his arrival was turning this animatic into a 3D layout for our teaser. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to stop it there. <laughs> there was no, no point in seeing everything uh, all together again, right? So uh, our EdcoProd model was finally completed. We have educated, capacitated our students. We were collaborating together. And we were producing a teaser for, for this film. Um, so. Now, before I show more uh, content of our teaser, I would like to tell you a bit about the story, because we don't know anything about it, right? 
So um, the rustle of leaves is intended to be a quite emotional, but most of all, honest story about redemption. Um, this story emerged from a deep darkness that surrounded me after uh, experiencing a very tragic incident in my life. And it was right out from that, from that darkness that our main character emerged. He is Julian. And every single character of our project is actually a metaphor, okay? Uh, Julian is here to play the innocence role. He, of course, then evolves through the whole movie into a multi-dimensional character, but he, the, the core idea behind him is to symbolize uh, the innocence we all had back in our child, childhood days, you know? So here's Julian. Then we have, of course, uh, his mother, Lucy, a loving and charming mother, sweet. And we have Roman, who happens to be his strict, firm, rigid, pragmatic father. They three together come, uh, uh, come together into something I, I, I'd like to call the equilibrium, okay? Uh, they live in a country house of some European country. There's actually a good reason for why they live far from town or from, far from the city, but I won't reveal that to you because it's a very important plot uh, point in our story, so I, I, I wouldn't like to spoil, it, to spoil anything, okay? Then we have the murmurs. These funny little clank, clanky creatures um, built from our protagonist's hands with nature's elements and some things he steals away from his father's workshop. Um, they are Julian's uh, playmates and imaginary beloved friends. We have Lumi, Lily, Bucky, Hermie, and Button. Okay, so. The last character I'm gonna mention, at least in this conference, because of course there are many other characters for the film, uh, is our other main character, which are the leaves. The leaves are actually uh, the most powerful character in this story. Um, they are the, the strongest metaphor of, of our story, and uh, they act as the conjunctive element which brings together this whole epic adventure for redemption, okay? Uh, this character, this place itself or shows itself, rebuilt it, uh, itself in many forms. Uh, we now can see it as a bird, but, well, later you will know what happens to the leaves, okay? Um, that's everything I'm gonna say about the story right now. I, want, I don't wanna spoil anything. I, I think we have a really strong story here, a really good one, and I don't wanna spoil it to you. I wanna leave the ending of our teaser to, 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 the, to the point where it's finished, right? Uh, then something um, great happened. Ricardo Carrera joined our team. He, when, I, when I met him, he was only 18 years old. I was working as a rigging supervisor for another project. And he was this young man with uh, only 18 years of age. And he came to our studio and he said, you know what, I don't know much about animation, but I want to learn. So he didn't went to college. We embraced him as a trainee, and I'm glad to say, and I'm really proud to say that now, at the age of 26 uh, years, he is our animation supervisor. And it happens uh, that today is his birthday. So please join me in giving him some, some love, and let's <laughs> applause, please. stand up, Ricardo. Thank you. And uh, once we, well, now that we're talking about animation, how about we show you some of the progress we've been doing on, on animation? It's, it's far from finished, but I, I think it's, it's, it's worth showing, okay? So let's have a look at it.
sorry, I have to stop it right here because I'm running out of time. There's a lot of animation being done right now, but um, time is uh, nearly done. Okay, so um, if you are all echoing this beautiful melody inside your heads by now, because we've already heard it a few times, there's only one guy we could uh, hold responsible for this, and this is Mauricio Pradillo, our music composer. Uh, I know he's watching us live, so thank you, Mauricio. You're doing a terrific job. Thanks. I also want to thank uh, my team, my whole team, our whole team. Uh, oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, th this is us. Look at this beautiful picture. It's, it's, for me, it's the culmination of this model I've been talking about the whole conference, right? Uh, we are instru instructors and students together conforming this beautiful family, happily working on the teaser for the film. So I would like to say hi to, to, to the students who are obviously watching us live in Mexico. Uh, we love you guys. We're really proud of you. You've done a great job. Uh, finally, uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, we, we are now starting to um, think about how are we going to render this thing? Uh, we, we have on one side cycles, but I'm not a huge fan of realism or the pixary dreamworks -y look. I'm not going for that. I think we should maybe pull it to the more stylized 2D finished look. So maybe use OpenGL and a few tricks to, to obtain that look. And now that there's EV in the verge of the horizon, I don't know, maybe open the project for EV development. We, we, we would like to remain open in this part of rendering the project, and being open means to us that if any of you who uh, are here attending this presentation are interested in collaborating with us, by any means, please uh, speak to us, let's have a talk, and uh, maybe we can collaborate and keep this thing going. So finally, I would like to thank Ton, because uh, the part of the story came from an inspiration of a tragic incident, but the part of taking the time to do this t-shirt with students and sharing my knowledge was inspired by this man right here. And so I would like to, to give him a, a big round of applause because he's the, the seed of this project. Really. <laughs> Wouldn't have any more minutes, right? We can talk to you for two days here. Okay, okay. Well, thank you all.